Okay guys, so here it is, the Citroen 2CV. Uh, so this is actually my uncle's car, we've got it on the channel today. The 2CV is a truly iconic French car. Um, it was basically conceived by a guy called Pierre Jules Boulanger in 1935, who was the head of Citroen at the time. And its main idea was to get the peasants of France, all the farmers and stuff that were using horse and carts, off their horse and carts and into motor vehicles. And that's exactly what this thing did. It was a great success, truly iconic car, as I said, it was produced for 42 years. So really impressive thing. So the meaning of 2CV is quite literally de chevaux vapeur, which means two steam horses, literally in French. And what this actually means, however, is two tax horsepower. And that was just an old way that cars were taxed uh, in Europe back when these were around. And essentially it was just like two taxable horsepower and it was just a measurement, depending on the size of the engine and the horsepower output and things like that. And eventually actually that when the engines increased and horsepower increased, um, the sort of two tax horsepower thing became meaningless because it was no longer two tax horsepower, it was actually more. I think it was three tax horsepower in some places. So, you know, they could have changed the name, but they actually kept it as 2CV. Uh, I guess it pays homage to the originals. So the 2CV was introduced in 1948, um, quite a few years actually after it was conceived and it was due to the, the war and things like that. And designs just kind of got put on, put on hold and then eventually they started producing it. And it was produced for 42 years, like I say, from 1948 right up to 1990. Quite largely unchanged, to be honest. So they started out with a 375cc flat twin engine and they gradually increased to sort of 425 and then 602 like is in this one and the engines are air cooled like I say it's a flat twin so it's a horizontally opposed two cylinder engine and this one makes about 29 horsepower however it only weighs 585 kilos or thereabouts so that 29 horsepower does actually go quite a long way I think it's roughly around 38 foot pounds of torque um, so it's, it's enough to get the job done and that was the whole purpose of this car. So one of the key actual criteria for the 2CV was actually to carry four people and 50 kilos of potatoes or a keg of beer across a field at 60 kilometers an hour and it also had to deliver something crazy like 90 plus mpg. I think it was three liters per 100 kilometers of uh, distance traveled. I mean that is just crazy to think about in this day and age but they actually managed to do it and this was way back in the 1940s. That's how ridiculous this thing is. So another really impressive feature is that these could actually even be hand cranked right up until 1990 when they ceased production. That just shows this kind of level of simplicity that was involved in the engineering. Nothing was over engineered on this, but it was engineered just to do its job and to do it well. The engines were tested for the equivalent of 50,000 miles at full throttle just to ensure they were durable. And you know what? They are. This thing has been all over the place. Um, my uncle actually took this to Croatia last year from the UK. I mean, that was a long drive, but to do it in a 2CV is very impressive and it did it without any hitches. So I think that just goes to show just how well engineered these cars actually were. Now, if you ever get offered the opportunity to go out on a 2CV, you've got to jump on it. It's just an incredible experience. So yeah, it's only 29 horsepower. Yeah, it's not particularly fast, but it's just a complete riot. This thing will lean like literally to 45 degrees through the corners. The suspension is that soft. And again, that draws back it's that whole design criteria to be functional and for the farmers as well to be able to travel across fields, even maybe carry uh, bits of farming equipment and possibly even cattle, who knows. Um, so yeah, it's a really impressive thing and it's just, a, it's just a fun thing to own. Of course, it's got that really iconic umbrella handle gear shifter as well, completely unique to the 2CV. And believe it or not, back in the day, these could actually come with a centrifugal clutch as well. So I suppose that would probably just be to make it as simple as possible for people to drive. And yeah, I mean, what cars would have been with a centrifugal clutch? There's probably not very many. And this was certainly probably one of the only ones. So yeah, really cool little feature to have that. So the interior of the 2CV is obviously very basic. We've only got a few sort of minor controls in there. There's literally just a speedo. A few people have added uh, like retrofitted tachometers for rev counters and things like that. Um, but largely it's very basic and it needs, you know, it doesn't need anything else, does it? Of course, storage in the 2CV is also pretty good. Um, we've got a decent sized boot. There's these extendable boxes that you can basically attach on and that pretty much doubles the boot space. So that's really handy as well. And the trip I mentioned to Croatia that this particular car did last year, that was fully laden with three people and loads of luggage as well, including camping gear. So, you know, if you can do a multiple thousand mile trip uh, with all that stuff, it just goes to show how usable these things actually are. 
So it's been great to look around the 2CV and it's just such a unique car and it's such an icon as well. It really stands out against all the stuff we see today. And I think above all else, it shows a completely different direction of the car industry back in the 1940s when these things were starting to be produced. And just that focus on complete function over form, it was, it was nothing meant to be fancy about it. It wasn't trying to be quick, it wasn't trying to be clever or even technologically advanced. It was just purely about serving a purpose and it did that incredibly well. They sold around 5 million of these 2CVs in the 42 years of production. And I think that tells you all you need to know about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for more. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty of new videos coming. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.